The decades-long desire to move these coal piles out of downtown Green Bay picked up steam in recent years when Brown County purchased the former Pulliam Power Plant two miles away at the mouth of the Fox River. The site isn't just a spot to move the coal piles to, but also to expand and enhance all Port of Green Bay operations. The plan hit a snag a few months ago when the expansion project wasn't selected for a $25 million federal grant. Brown County Supervisor Ron Antonow says more companies should now be considered to be part of the project to ensure the port and economic growth still happens. I've had other businesses talk to me and say, being on the Harbor Commission and the board, they said, you know, we would like to have an opportunity to bid on and potentially lease that property. We'll pay taxes, we'll pay a lease agreement, whatever and will create jobs. Antino says the owner of the coal piles, Sea Rice Coal Company, didn't seem as interested in providing those things initially, but has become more engaged since the idea was raised of opening the port property to bidding from others. Only a poor business would just hand it over and give them kind of exclusivity. Um, it's got to be a really good deal and development to give them exclusivity. But wouldn't another company have to come in and really blow the county away to say, hey, we're gonna give it to you instead of having this be a place for the coal piles? Well, they don't need the whole thing for coal piles. They can't expect it to be given to them just because we want coal piles moved. That is a part of the prob part of the proposal, but it's not the end all. We've got to consider everything from Port growth development, economic development, job creation, and, uh, and the type of revenue that might be derived from it. If a deal can't be reached with Sea Rice over the next month, Antino says the county board could agree to take bids from others on what they'd do with the port land, perhaps even finding a partner who could lease the land and close the funding gap to finish the port expansion project in full. We tried to interview Port Director Dean Hain, who instead sent us a statement saying the county continues to negotiate with Sea Rice and the city with the shared goals of expanding the port and developing the waterfront. We also tried to interview Mayor Eric Genrick, who told us there are no new updates on the city's end. And we also messaged Sea Rice, who did not provide us a response. In Green Bay, Ben Krumpholz, Fox 11 News.